Hello. Today I will show you how to extract the dominant colors of the image and display those colors using Python. For dominant color extraction, we will be using clustering. We will need two libraries CV2 and NumPy. Let's import CV2 and NumPy as NP. First, let's open our image. For that let's create an image variable and assign it to cv2.imread. In brackets write image destination and image name with extension. In the project directory, I created an input folder to store the images. I also created the output folder for output images if we want to save the images. Our first line just reads the image, we need the second one to open it. Let's write cv2.im show and in brackets, we write window name and image input. We also need to add one more line, cv2 wait key and in brackets 0 to keep the image window open. 0 means the delay in milliseconds. Let's run the code and see the image. We have a beautiful mountain. Let's close the image. Next, we need to extract some parameters from our image. For that, we will use the numpy shape function. It returns a 3 tuple of image height, width, and the number of channels. We just need the first two values, height and width. Let's add the print line and print them. Our image is 400 pixels in height and 700 pixels in width. Let's close the image and comment the print statement. For clustering first, we need to reshape our image data. We want to have all pixel values in one list. For that, we create a new variable named data and assign it to np.reshape, and in brackets, we add an array to be reshaped, and a new shape, height multiplied by width to get all pixels and 3 to have all color channels. We also need to convert all data to float type for further calculations. Now we can proceed with clustering. We will be using OpenCVKMeans function. It finds centers of clusters and groups input samples around the clusters. First, we need to define how many clusters we want. Let's start with 3. Next, we need to define algorithm termination criteria, that is, the maximum number of iterations and or the desired accuracy. The accuracy is specified as criteria epsilon. As soon as each of the cluster centers moves by less than criteria epsilon on some iteration, the algorithm stops. Next, we need to select a flag. We choose to select random initial centers in each attempt. And finally, we can add k-means function. It output a 3-tuple, compactness, labels, and centers. After that, we type cv2.k-means, and in brackets, we add our data, the number of clusters, for best labels we choose none, add criteria, the number of attempts, and flags. We need just centers, where our dominant colors are. Let's print them. We have three colors in BGR format. BGR is the default color space for OpenCV. So we have extracted three dominant colors from an image, but we can make it more user-friendly by displaying these colors and adding color labels in RGB. Let's close the image and comment the print statement. Let's create a function to create a bar with dominant colors. We will need three parameters, height, width, and color. First, we prepare a bar template with zero values, np.zeros and in brackets, we add array shape and data type. Our shape will be height, width, and three color channels. And for data type, we choose 8-bit unsigned integer. Next, we change the entire bar list to color input. Also, we want to have color value in an RGB format. Now we have BGR format, so we need to switch the first color channel with the third and vice versa. For that, we assign red, green, and blue to third, second, and first color values. And convert them to the integer type. We finish by returning the bar in RGB color. Okay, create bar function is ready, now we can use it. Let's create two empty lists, bars and RGB values. Next, we need to loop through our calculated centers where dominant colors are and add it to the bars list. Also, we will add RGB values to the RGB value list. We loop using enumerate. For index, row in enumerate centers we assign bar and RGB to create bar function with bar height of 200 pixels, bar width also 200 pixels in color, which is in a row. We append created a bar to bars list and RGB value to RGB values list. What's left is to create an image bar. It's very simple. We just write image bar equal to np.h stack and in brackets, we add our bars. H stack function will stack all values horizontally. And the last step is to show dominant colors. We add another imshow function with window name, dominant colors and image itself. Let's run the code. We see the image and three dominant colors. The last thing I want you to show is how to put text on dominant color bars of RGB values. Let's stop the program and go back to the code. 
We will need a font. Let's add it before our bars list. I will be using Hershey Simplex. You can try different ones. To show RGB values we loop through the list of the RGB values using enumerate and put text on the image bar. We loop using enumerate. For index, row in enumerate RGB values we assign the image to cv2.put text and in brackets, we add parameters. Image, the image on which text is to be drawn, text, we will use f string to add a number using index value and an RGB value, x and y coordinates where text should appear, a font, font scale, color in BGR, line thickness and line type. We also add the print statement to print color in the terminal. And that's it. We can run the code. We have the original image, the three dominant colors with RGB values and RGB values are printed in the terminal. We can try changing cluster number to different number for example 5. It works fine too. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions leave them in the comments section. You will find the code in the video description. If you like this video, Please leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more Python videos.